for Cody, if I could. Uh, Cody, big, big fight here for a lot of reasons. Of course, there's a rivalry between you two, but this is two of the best bantamweights in the world. So I wonder, how are you looking at this fight? I mean, is it a chance just to show the world that, yes, I'm number one, or is the importance of the rivalry and, and silencing, you know, this rivalry important to you? This fight's important to me to showcase that I am the best pound for pound bantamweight in the world, and then after this fight, I'll go down and fight Demetrius Johnson to solidify that I'm the pound for pound best in the world. Thanks, Cody. And I'll just ask you, TJ, I mean, for you as well. Is this more about that belt that's sitting on the other table right now, or you know, he just, is this, he is just this needs the money. Rivalry? He just needs the money. That's why he's here. He wanted to fight Mighty Mouse. That's why he's a money fight. You know, uh, it's definitely about the belt to prove that it was mine the whole time. You know, uh, I don't understand the animosity coming from them. You know, it's a little bit ridiculous. Do I need to hold his hand and tuck him in at night? Why is he so mad? You're a fucking liar. You're a cheap shotter. You know what I mean? You heard like, from the horse. I'm, I'm not, not your day. daddy. Uriah is your daddy. Cheap Let him tuck cheap you in. He'll be there to hold your hand, baby. He'll be there to hold your hand. Yeah. He'll be there. So to answer your question is, yes, that belt is mine. And I guess, I mean, do you feel like there's any way, win or lose, that they could bury the hatchet between you two anyway? I mean, it seems There's never been right any now. drama on my side, as you can tell. There's never been anything coming from me. Except for lies. Habitual liar over there. He just lies on top of the lies. The ones are making up stories over here, so. Rumors. A horse's mouth. You do not need TJ, or Chris in the back of the head. Exactly. You're a cheap shot and bastard. You're a I did cheater. Not. You did not. Okay. Relax. Yeah. Calm the fuck down. And a uh, question for TJ. You've accused uh, Team Alpha Male and Cody of, uh, of a lot of lies during this, uh, the build-up for this fight. What in particular um, have they lied about in your eyes? Just everything. Just the way they handle themselves and just, uh, <laughs> yeah. just everything they want to bring up. You know what I mean? It's all mental warfare. It's all things to get into. Man, we're tired of hearing this guy's lies. Emotional. Yep. Question for Cody. How many beers you guys had? Are you intoxicated? Cody, I'm just wondering, last week, uh, Michael said a few things about you and your eyebrows. I'm wondering if you said anything to him as you sat next to him. Oh. Always a shit stare at Ariel. Always. No, man, he just, he just likes that I'm a good looking dude. I think he's got a little uh, infatuation with me, but it's all good. Yeah, I like little guys, yeah. just like George. Yeah. Um, and, and just for TJ, just wanted to ask you about what Chris Holdsworth said on, on Monday. It, it's all happened at the perfect time. You know, when it came out, the week of the fight. Like, come on, man. This is all super predictable. Predictable. Right. No truth to it? None whatsoever. There's truth to it. Just like I don't have a knock. I meant like I knocked him out and don't have a video don't. of it. It's I already don't. Been, it's already been, yeah. Release I do that have shit it, but I'm not, yeah. You know that. Bring it. How many times did I fuck you up in practice? Zero, motherfucker. Exactly. We're going to find yeah, out. Saturday, you're going to you find can out. You can talk all you want. Show out, your insecurity. Show who you really are. We're going to get out there. I'm going to have a Dude, smile on my face. Dude, I had you in your own locker room. I'm going to break your ass. Yeah, I had you in your own locker room, me and you together. Ready to fist well, How about up, when you went home you crying? The fuck down. How about when you went home you, crying and left practice? You. Never cried. You're ready for how many first times did Holdsworth fight make you and cry? And you're not ready. How many times did Dwayne oh, Ludwig you. come up to Chris Holdsworth and say, "Hey, Grasshopper, take it easy on TJ today." How many times today. you quit He's practice? Got a championship fight yeah. coming up. How many times you quit practice, motherfucker? Never quit practice. All the fucking time. I'm gonna make you quit. Yeah, you have exactly. no. You can do all the conditioning in the world with your new coach. You can't condition that fucking chin of yours. See, that's how you do it, George. That's called a back and forth. Uh, Cody, uh, straight down in front here. Um, one of the accusations made um, at TJ was the fact that he'd uh, taken some special supplements. Oh, yeah, the guy's on everything. Yeah. He's on everything. Yeah. TJ? Yeah, I'm on everything. Come and te they test me every day, so come on, I'm on everything. <laughs> Funny, you're the one that showed everyone how to do it on Team Alpha Male. So, yeah, I'm the one that's right, now look, bringing look it at in. Him. Yeah. Look at him. He has nothing to say. For Cody, uh, there was some uh, confusion this week about the Team Alpha Male coaching situation. Uh, Justin's no longer the head coach, I guess he said. Can you clarify what's going on there, and has it been any kind of distraction for you leading into this fight? Hey, no distraction at all. They're all here. I got the dream team. You know, that's uh, what we were able to do. I went from unranked to world champion in the same calendar year with that team, and we're here today, and we're going to retain the title on Saturday. It's right here. Obviously, there's a lot of bad blood between yourself and TJ. It's been going on for a while. How would you put that to one side for the fight and make sure that you go in there as you normally do? As you see in the Dominic Cruz fight and all my fights, I, I fight with controlled emotion. And that's passion. Uh, that's just how I fight, and that'll be no different this Saturday. And same question for you, TJ. 
I've never had any bad emotion with this. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 my mind's been set on this goal since the day I lost it. You know what I mean? So I'm climbing up and exactly. getting better. Exactly. Since the day he lost it to a traveling, guy. Traveling. I'm working with new coaches. I embarrassed. You know, I'm traveling with, training with new coaches, getting as be the best as I possibly can. I'm expanding my horizon in MMA, being a martial artist, and just continuing to grow, man. And then uh, Cody, obviously this fight, it's going to be wild. I'm so stoked. I wish it was happening right now in a couple hours from now. Uh, the familiarity between you and TJ, do you think that's, a, that's detrimental or is that helpful to you that you guys know each other so well? That's right. I came out there at 1-0. I was a kid and it was just with, a, with a dream. He was at his pinnacle of reach. He was an interim champion at the time. He gave me the supreme confidence to chase this goal that I knew I was going to be a world champion working with this fool. So I'm supreme confidence going in there Saturday that I'm going to knock his ass out early in the fight. And TJ, because you guys do know each other so well, does it come down to kind of picking off that one, uh, emotions? It's about keeping emotions in line. Oh man, my emotions are always in line. You know, it's something I've had. It's something I've had to learn how to control, though. You know, something I have had to do. You know, but that's that's no exactly. He had there. to learn how to control it after he injured his uh, training partners. I'm always learning, brother. I'm always learning. Always getting better. <laughs>